Well, hello, everybody. Thanks again for joining us here for Life in Muskoka. I have a special guest today with me, and her name is Kate. And Kate uh, recently put together a video which is on social media called I Met Love. And so after watching that very impacting uh, video, and really some of the buzz right here in the office uh, has been, wow, when I watched that and watched it again, I was really emotionally touched. You had some pretty powerful statements statements such as coming to the edge of a cliff and being left with a choice uh, one or the other what what are your thoughts on that I wrote what I wrote in a difficult time in a challenging time and what some people would feel like they're on the edge of a cliff in moments where they don't know where to go or they feel like there's no way to go that's where I felt like I was and then in that I felt like that's where the love of God met me. And so that inspired me to um, put together these writings of just how I experienced the love of God in a very challenging time and how it looked like surrendering and not controlling um, the circumstances in my life. In our culture in Canada here and probably for most of the Western world, love many times is looked at as a feeling or an affection. The way you were describing love, it doesn't look like it was something that was something you wanted to consume. From my understanding and from what I got from your video, it was like something that you needed to give yourself to rather than you saying, okay, well, my affection is for this thing that I can gratify myself if I attain this love. You know, our society puts um, self at the center, whereas in a biblical understanding, or it's probably better to say a biblical revelation of love is putting God at the center. The love that we're talking about is agape love. It's that unconditional love that when we're willing, you know, biblically it says that when we lose our life, we actually find our life. And it's clear that you have gone through situation or situations that caused you to come to the end of yourself and rather than pursuing a self-gratification to fill that void, you surrendered and let yourself go. I think that's all that I could do in that point. When I went back and I wrote this writing for this video, I was reading the book. um, It was called Surrender to Love by David Benner, a very impactful, beautiful book. And I think the title kind of says it all, Surrender to Love. And the word surrender can sound really scary and um, intimidating, but in my experience, when it comes to letting go, surrendering, um, letting go of control of self, is when we actually experience true freedom and Um, fulfillment because it means we're taking our grip off of things and he's taking control of that and it just takes off all that pressure and stress on ourself and we're giving it to a greater a greater God than ourselves perfect love yes not a worldly love not a western I love chocolate cake love Mm -hmm. but a perfect love from a loving heavenly father will cast out any fear you know his perfect peace comes and it outweighs our understanding so in order to receive that peace or that love of god we have to give over our understanding of how things should look we're to love the lord our god with all of our heart and with all of our soul and with all of our mind and it's the first and greatest commandment and then the second greatest commandment is that we're to love our neighbor as ourself and unfortunately most of the time evangelism or people reaching other people with the love of God or the love from the local church it's been skewed it's been misplaced because they really haven't first and foremost fallen in love with God or allowed themselves to fall like your experience into the arms of this loving God that doesn't want to hurt them and even if it's sometimes misunderstood and when it's when we have that encounter or encounters such as your video uh, so clearly portrayed that we really do start to find ourselves. yeah and I think the most one of the most beautiful parts um, of this love this perfect love is it is to be experienced and known we serve a God by choice um, 
relationally and out of companionship. We were created for companionship with God and he created us to um, know him and be known. And it's just puts it in a beautiful um, perspective because I think a lot of the times in our culture we look at religion and God as this controlling um, creature up in the sky and that's the opposite of who he is and through my experience of knowing him and getting to know him which by the way never ends you can never get bored in your journey with the Lord there's just been so much freedom and healing and um understanding and love in all aspects of my life because of that mm. and it, it always becomes new mm-hmm. it's it's like an endless romance that however much we are willing to give of ourselves in pursuit of knowing this creator and all one has to do is look at some simple uh, facts such as the human body and the amazing miracle it is or look into the sky and the vastness of outer space we realize that there is something more to life you talk about this love as as a person as a relationship so so good so good and I touch on it a little bit in the video on how um, I let just hurt and pain and betrayal define my capacity to experience love in that process of my life of what I believed about love and experiencing love there was a point where I realized that there was a God pursuing me and chasing me down and redefining what love was and my experience and knowing him in that and it was just a beautiful process to be in um because he won when it came to love. In our media-driven uh, society today that many people are consuming hours and hours uh, of online presence and how moldable we can be by what we're viewing. But it's very obvious that what we're viewing is not always accurate. Love, true love, heavenly love, godly love never fails.